Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and today we are talking about Heaps. It's a hacks-powered game engine. I've covered it in the past on this channel, but it was a little bit earlier in this channel's life cycle, and I don't think a lot of you guys were exposed to it. Now, Heaps is a hacks-powered game engine. We'll get into that in a bit more detail, and their version 1.6 was just released, which is why we are talking about it today. Now, I'm going to start this video off a little bit different. We're going to showcase some of the applications made using Heaps. And one of those things that really makes a game engine shine is some really successful games. And what you see in front of you, Dead Set is actually one of my favorite games of 2018. But by no means is that the only uh, game made using the Heaps game engine. There is also Northgard that you see in front of you and Evil Land 2, which we will see in a second. And these two games are actually created by the same guy who created the language, the Hacks programming language, and the Heaps game engine. A very busy fellow. And I have to say, I am really a fan of Hacks and I am a fan of Heaps. And on top of that, there is even a... Uh, database slash level editor called Castle DB. I've also looked at that in the past, but that is part of this as well. So if you want a full stack for um, mostly 2D, 2.5D game development, you should definitely check out Heaps. So that is what we are looking at today. Now, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth about how to use it because, as I mentioned, I already did a couple of tutorials on that topic, but I will definitely refer you to them. What we're going to do instead today is look at what is new in Heaps 1.6. We'll look at a little bit about Heaps in general. And then uh, I will show you those resources. So if you want to learn more, it is out there. Now, one of the things that really shines about Heaps that you can see in front of you is the number of different platforms it supports. It's actually one of those things that really shines about the Hacks programming language in general. Hacks is heavily inspired by ActionScript and was heavily used by Flash developers looking for a new home once that ecosystem started to die off. But the way that Hacks works is it compiles down to other programming languages. So you can compile Hacks into uh, Lua, um, into Flash, into HTML or JavaScript, into C++, and then compile it for the native platform. So you can really target a number of different um, operating systems, as you can see from this list in front of us. All your majors, your platforms, uh, you know, uh, the game we just saw a second ago, Dead Cells, is basically available everywhere, and it performs pretty well. So uh, this is a battle-tested and trusted game engine. So let's get into the details of the 1.6 release now. So 1.60 was just released over the weekend. The major new features are added DOM kit support, added a 2D camera support, uh, H2D filters, WRT alpha handling, H2D flow layout support, uh, added support for SDF font, support for subpixel tiles, added H2D interactive on release outside and dot shape for custom shape handling, uh, object on parent change, changes, handled multiple um, interactive on overs to the 3D side of things, they added a capsule collider in sphere plus changed in Frustrum, driver.capsule pixel subregion. So we're getting kind of into the nitty gritty details here. Uh, JS heaps now defaults to Canvas instead of using Windows for events uh, and so on. So there is a number of new features on here. And as you can see, it is very actively developed. This was just pushed through. Now, if you're interested in heaps itself, it is available on GitHub. I will have all of the appropriate links at the link down below. Uh, you can see here that the license is da 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 da. MIT license, and I love this. The MIT license is probably, uh, it's among my favorite. MIT, BSD, Zlib, those are all really good licensing. Basically let you do just about whatever you want. Uh, you just have no warranty and the author has no liability for it. If you somehow blow up the world using his code, well, that's on you. So very generous license, uh, very flexible terms. And um, this here is the Heaps programming, oh, sorry, the Heaps homepage. Um, you can come in here. Once again, you've got all those different platforms you can target. Uh, they showcase some of the games that are created with it. Here are the major um, points of functionality here. So you got 2D and 3D game engine. I think this is more of a 2D or 2.5D focused engine. Personally, the 3D stuff is it's there it's for things like loading models and rendering them, but it's not a full-blown 3D game engine like you would see from uh, Unreal, Godot, or Unity. Um, on top of that, cross-platform compilation, that is an area where uh, the hacks language in general really shines. You want to create a game that runs in a browser or runs on the Nintendo Switch or runs on uh, a Cray supercomputer. Hacks is probably a pretty good choice. It's easy to get started. It's decently documented. There's not a huge community. That's probably one of the negatives you're going to have if you go with the Heaps programming language. Fast compile and run cycle. Uh, it's GPU accelerator 2D and 3D cross-platform GPU shader system. Um, full controller support. File system supports includes PNG, FBX, FBX, OGG, and so on. And it is completely and utterly free. If you're interested in getting started, really all you need is the Hacks programming language installed. Hacks has a build tool or a package tool called Hackslib. Really all you need to do 
is run this command. Uh, I have some tutorials that will again get you up and running. So if you are interested in getting started with hacks, I got you covered or sorry, with heaps and hacks, I guess. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, there is also Castle DB. This is a really cool product written by the same guy. So the same guy is writing a game engine, games, uh, game editor, database, and a programming language all at once. So I'm just waiting for him to write an OS and then he's got the trifecta down. Uh, but Castle DB is a very interesting thing. It's kind of like, um, Excel for games. Basically, you can create these spreadsheets of game data, and one of the database entries can actually be a game level. We'll see that in a second, but do check out Castle DB if you want to go with the Heaps programming language. It essentially gives you both a persistence data engine and a level editor all in one. It's very impressive, actually. So I have done a series of tutorials for some strange reason. I never did a homepage for them, uh, but I did do three separate ones. This first one will show you how to actually get installed, create your first project, and go from there. Um, you, you got good setup details for working with uh, Visual Studio Code if you wish to go that route. Uh, you see I've also done a video on it as well. Part two, we get into 2D graphics using uh, heaps. Uh, kind of basics, drawing sprites on screen, moving them around. And then in part three, we get into animation and sprite sheets. And that's where I stopped the tutorial back in the day. But basically, there is a video for each part of the tutorial. I also did a hands-on introduction to the Castle DB system. So if you want to get into that level editor data creation tool, I have done. So you see here, it's all um, spreadsheet based. So you basically create your database and then you've got all these different columns of data that you can work with, including things like images and files, uh, tile layers, so tile maps. And But on top of that, you can store things like uh, numbers, floats, text, like a traditional spreadsheet or database. It's a very powerful system. Um, so here you can see I'm defining monsters in my world so I can do things like hit points, but I can also put sprites in for them as well. And then you get down a little bit further and you'll see you can actually create maps, use tiles of maps. And then you can actually paint your level world. And this is stored directly in your database. It's a very powerful system. And I do highly recommend that you do check it out. So that is the um, the Hacks and Heaps game engine. So the Heaps game engine for the Hacks programming language. And I do really honestly recommend if you're looking for something more code focused, but you want a full stack for game development, this is a great choice. Um, and again, it has been battle tested. There are some very well selling games on many different platforms that were created using um, the Heaps game engine. So it is definitely capable. Um, so if you're looking for a game engine where you're kind of using code a bit more and tools a bit less, Heaps may be the perfect choice for you. You'll like the hacks programming language. It's very similar. It's, it's a lot like um, uh, ActionScript or Swift. Those are the two probably ones that feel closest to it. It's a very easy language to learn if you have any prior experience with uh, a typical modern language. Uh, hacks feels very similar to all those. So don't worry about learning it. It's a very straightforward and um, well-documented language. So I would recommend you check out Hacks and Heaps if you haven't already. And that is it. That is the Heaps um, Game Engine 1.60 was just released. Some pretty cool stuff in there. And hopefully at least a few of you found this interesting. Let me know what you think. First off, um, did you know about Heaps already? Have you learned the Hacks programming language? Do you have an opinion on either? And also, do you think Dead Cells is as awesome as I do? Uh, let me know. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.